to war and economic disaster just by snapping their fingers and, and creating the and, illusion and, and, and creating the illusion yeah. of a choice uh, between them. Um, so you think Obama will get away with all the power grabs, and then when some new president comes in after him, that'll just continue. Uh, I certainly hope you're wrong, Wayne, but this is this is disgusting. Shifting gears to Libya, I know you've been to Libya, I believe it's repeatedly, uh, and uh, somewhat recently, and they keep lying. You know, first it was just loving rebels that were peaceful. Now they admit it's al-Qaeda. Reuters yeah. is saying, oh God, al-Qaeda is taking over Libya now. And it's like, but you put them in there. They keep saying Gaddafi's been defeated. Turns out more than half the country's still under his control. I mean, this is the first time that we've seen things become completely Orwellian. It's like NATO and our own government is run by Baghdad Bob, and and everything is the opposite of what they say. Yeah, let me tell you what's next. Uh, apparently, there's been some secret protocol signed between the United States and the NATO countries that invaded, helped invade Libya, attack Libya uh, uh, to establish bases. You know, the U.S. used to have an Air Force base in Libya, Wheelis. It was a B-52 base. That's going, I mean, the U.S. is going to go back in there now with military bases. I understand that one military base is going to be located very close to the border with Sudan, which has already been broken up into two countries. South Sudan is basically a vassal state of the United so States. So this is the Afrikan takeover beachhead. Yeah, yeah, and, and Algeria, Algeria still supports uh, Gaddafi. Uh, rich in natural gas and some oil, but mostly natural gas. When Algeria uh, basically uh, uh, said, look, we're not going to deal with these rebels, we, we, we detect that there's al-Qaeda amongst them, people that we consider unsavory. There were, there were two uh, 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 terrorist attacks in Algeria directed against uh, Algerian security forces blamed on al-Qaeda. I would say the next two dominoes that are going to fall will be northern Sudan, the, what's left of the country of Sudan after it was broken in two, and Algeria. This isn't over by any stretch. We're probably going to see uh, these uh, Soros staged uh, uh, themed uh, marches and, and revolutions now in Khartoum and Algiers. And like a dog returning to its vomit, it has the double goody of strategy of tension, uh, wrecking uh, uh, the, the wealthiest economy, uh, lifting up the rest of Africa, Libya, and then they can come right back in in a few years, or maybe even just a few months, they're already talking about it, total contempt for the public, and attack the very Al-Qaeda they put into place if they don't follow the orders just exactly right, or stage a new false flag in Europe or the U.S. and uh, blame it on some cutout, made-up character. My God! I mean, I've studied a lot of spy craft and subterfuge in history, Wayne. I've never seen anything this ridiculously overt, uh, not even in the nasty uh, Soviet tricks they played in the 70s and 80s. Uh, do you agree with that statement? Yeah, and it's blatant. It's totally blatant what they're doing here. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Libya, uh, as you said, was uh, uh, one of them, uh, as far as social programs to help the people, one of the most advanced. Now we have something I reported after I was there the last time in May that black Libyans and, 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 and black guest workers from other countries and uh, sub-Saharan Africa were being targeted by the rebels. Now we have the mainstream finally coming around, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, all reporting that uh, black Libyans and uh, black uh, African guest workers have been subjected to beheadings and, and other uh, uh, the women been raped and other uh, hu terrible human rights abuses. When I first reported that, the mainstream was, oh, no. Uh, I, I even asked the United, the United Nations Commissioner for Refugees this question here in Washington. He says, oh, well, we've heard those reports, and I've asked the rebels uh, about that. We asked the rebels, why didn't he do an investigation? This guy is a uh, former social uh, socialist prime minister of Portugal. He's right in with that whole whole globalist European Union crowd. Well, Wayne, uh, Walter Fontroy, as you know, uh, the yeah. former D.C. Uh, delegate to Congress, yeah. uh, for folks that don't know, that's that's the equivalent of their congressperson because they don't have Congress people. He had to hide out for a month and was presumed dead. He finally got out. I know you know about this, but yeah. he said uh, that he had to hide out because they were killing all blacks on site. That's now been confirmed, and that's one reason there's such a resistance to the al-Qaeda takeover in the country is because they're not giving them quarter and they're just dragging any blacks they find out, men, women, and children, and 
there's giant dead piles of them all hacked up everywhere and our media says well this is quite liberal and loving obama's doing it yeah. so so that's the black cover they need it as we said in the obama deception that breaks all this down and we even show and say libya will be invaded uh, actually tarpley did in the film it's incredible how he predicted that but it's just amazing that 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 as long as they say it's liberal then then you can do anything you want it's just it's it's beyond ridiculous at this point yeah and fontroy also said he saw evidence that it was french and danish uh commandos in libya that carried out some of these atrocities some of these beheadings i i also understand that u.s special forces were in libya and are in libya today now here's how you know about the casualties there were casualties sustained uh among these americans uh, i've been told that they're being uh they're being reported as uh u.s service people being killed in training accidents in europe and other places no that's so how they always do up. it but i've talked that's to absolutely. the army i've talked to the army induction officer where the dead bodies come in for processing mm. and, and he said four months ago he'd already taken five in to his office and then just last week, they went ahead and admitted U.S. Special Forces are on the ground, and they've always been there. So you've been proven right on that again. Wayne Madsen of WayneMadsenReport.com. In closing, as part of your globe trotting, your, your, your global surveying, uh, you've also gone to Japan, and we know the EPA months ago uh, said that, oh, well, we'll just raise the levels of radioactive isotopes 1,000 to 100,000 times what it previously was. We know milk and food all over the U.S. has, has had as high as 50 times safe levels of different isotopes, and, and, and now they're reporting, we've got some graphics we can show from the news while you're talking, that as water pours in, it's, 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 it's continued Chernobyl's on top of Chernobyl's, and a lot of the Japanese government has now had to resign, admittedly lying about this. We just had a French nuclear weapons processing system with MOX fuel, plutonium blow up. I, I mean, uh, we had a Canadian reactor have a big spill. Uh, I mean, something weird's going on here. It's almost like somebody sabotaging uh, things, or I guess it's that thing of when it rains, it pours. Wayne, what do you see going on here since you went to Japan? Well, one thing, I, I've been through Narita Airport in Tokyo many times, but I haven't been to downtown Tokyo since 1984, until this trip. And one thing that really uh, has shocked me was where were... Uh, Tokyo used to be a bustling city, people everywhere, I, that my first reaction was where are all the people there wasn't all the traffic that i remember uh i mean yes they've done some stuff downtown uh to alleviate traffic but i asked the question where are all the people it, i was told look many people have moved to southern japan those who are able to get out have left they've gone down to kyushu island southern honshu and uh and even into the uh the okinawa islands uh, well, that's a huge story. So there's a giant exodus, and I've seen some reports, but they try to whitewash that. So, yeah. so the Japanese uh, um, didn't believe their government day one, and it looks like they, they did the right thing getting out of there. Absolutely. And, and like I say, uh, the lack of traffic, the lack of people. You, you know, you remember this Tokyo subway system was so packed at, at, at rush hour, they had to use these cattle prods to force people in. Yeah. You, don't, you don't see that anymore because there, there's not the traffic in the subway system that there used to be. Well, we know there's massive radiation sickness and there have been deaths. And why didn't the government just tell the truth from the beginning? I mean, wh why, do, why does government have this compulsion in all eras, in all times, in all civilizations to lie even when the truth would serve them? Because it just came out that they lied instead of yeah. responding. Well, I think the same thing happened in Japan. It would happen is what happened in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, Obama allowed BP to run the show down there. BP was lying about the ca uh, catastrophe there. These reactors, most, uh, the, the, this is General Electric reactor technology. Uh, General Electric was calling the shots over there. They didn't want uh, it out that you know the, these reactors are inherently unsafe. And who is Obama's uh, chief of uh, jobs, uh, uh, the jobs program, who's his good buddy, Jeffrey Immelt. CEO of General Electric. Who, by the way, who, by the way, is moving the entire X-ray division of General Electric uh, to China. Who, by the way, is advising, and, and even Dennis Kucinich came out and said, hey, 
how about you create some jobs here in America? I mean, these guys do anything they can to shut this country down. In closing, why do you think that's the case? Well, I think Obama and the people around him, Geithner and, 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 and Bernanke at the Fed and, and all these other people, they're, they, what they've done is they've turned the U.S. government and many state governments into wholly owned subsidiaries of major corporations. And we are the un, basically low paid or no paid employees of this uh, this oligarchy that has seized control over the United States. That's right. And if that, you do happen to make money writing a book or starting a business, then they steal your money and give it in banker bailouts and corporate welfare to General Electric and people and General Motors to move out of the country. These people make me sick. And that's something the Republicans will never tell their constituents. Limbaugh and all of them sit up there and praise the Fortune 100. When the Fortune 100, to a company, are a bunch of anti-American, anti-free market, monopoly men, trash, and the enemy of every single free human on this planet. They are usurpers who have hijacked this country and finance Al-Qaeda to menace us into submission. Wayne Madsen, it's always great talking to you. I'm glad you're back in the U.S., and uh, I look forward to speaking to you in the future. Anything else on Japan or Obama or any other tidbit that you'd like to, in closing, have the final word on? I, I would just say that uh, the, 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 ne next year, uh, the, the Obama movie that was uh, released in Japan, uh, Young Obama, uh, is going to be released here in the United States. Uh, United Artists uh, bought the rights. It's going to be released. It's going to be that version at the U.S. Embassy. And then uh, the ambassador, a guy named Cameron Hume, who was no longer there, but he was the ambassador at the time, wanted to have these two scenes removed from the movie. It's going to be released here in the United States for the election campaign, along with that other movie they're, they're producing about how Obama killed Osama, uh, or had him killed. Uh, and by the way, they admit the government's involved financing that with the great Hurt Locker people. And of course, they're going to force feed the Obama uh, Jesus child uh, to the children in school like Al Gore's stupid video. Wayne Madsen, great having you on with us. WayneMadsenReport.com. Look forward to speaking to you very, very soon. You bet, Alex. All right, there goes Wayne Madsen, my friends. Well, that's it for InfoWars Nightly News. Aaron Dykes will be uh, sitting in for me tomorrow night with some special reports and also a two-week review since the September 1st launch of InfoWars Nightly News. You, the subscribers, uh, make this possible. Please spread the word about InfoWars Nightly News, InfoWarsNews.com, and PrisonPlanet.tv. This is a true revolution in alternative media that transcends the left-right paradigm that is outside the box. Only the truth can set us free, and action with that truth can really empower humanity. Great job to the crew, and again, thank you to all the subscribers. We'll see you back tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central, right here at InfoWars Nightly News.